what's going on to a YouTube video, back here with another one. I've started off with my yesterday's video, because I said to you guys, if you've got 20 likes in it, I'll do a Monero video. And trust me, you don't want to miss the Monero video. So if this video right now gets 20 likes, tomorrow I'll do a Monero video and our usual Bitcoin and Litecoin video. Simply because Monero, a lot of hackers back in the day would use Bitcoin in 2013 to transact and whatnot. I use a Monero because it's privacy features and how Bitcoin you can trace literally because of all the KYC exchanges, you can, like, if, if I saw someone illegally interact in Bitcoin, you can trace them back to the exchange and the exchange know which person sent that address. Simply because of KYC. So Bitcoin isn't as um, transparent as you guys, as you guys, everybody thinks it is. Um, so, yeah, um, it's just one thing to think about. They are trying to work on price features for it, but, you know, that's why I, I do like Monero. And it's only $100 right now, so it can do a lot. And it's only got 18 million supply. But if hackers are using it, maybe it's we're seeing something similar to Bitcoin start up again. So, you know, just one thing to start thinking about. But um, before we get into the video, I want to show you guys how perfect our trend analysis is. Posted all the time for our members in the Patreon down below, which you guys should join to join an awesome community growing, helping each other. That's what it is. Crypto, everyone who watches, so you guys who watch this channel... Some of you are in the, the, the in a Discord. You talk to each other, help each other trade, learn about other cryptos. It's actually really good. So you can see here, um, head and shoulders potentially. And obviously, as you can see here, we actually did it perfect. So yeah, and obviously everybody is here, um, chilling, trading, earning profits. So the 206 profits this morning, um, play this platoon. And other members always making profit, making bank, 180. So, you know, just join, see if you like it. If you don't like it, you get a refund. But yeah, let's get straight into it now. So Bitcoin currently... Um, this is obviously what I posted for the trend analysis. Everyone I post, I told that if we hit 1.5 again, 21.5, then we'll come down again. As you can see, we're coming down again. This has also formed like a potential. What is this? Cup and handle. Yeah. So the, the actual target breakout of this level is actually at the top to the bottom, about here. That will take us where? Any guesses? Yep. Around to 17.9. So 18K. Um, will be a strong su strong support as you can see here we've obviously got support over here temporary bottom at 17.7 so you know we could actually see an alignment there um, as you're aware we have broken out if i get rid of all this we have broken out of this rising wedge bear flag whatever you want to call it and typically the target of this will actually start to become the bottom over here but i always say to the patrons never put your take profit at the bottom because it most likely won't get hit we most likely start getting a bounce towards the bottom around here around the middle, because that's where people least put their take profit. So that's why we always hit our take profits mostly. So yeah, but the measured move from this break um, that I've showed you guys, I think in yesterday's video, it obviously takes us down to 9K, 9.4, which is literally perfect to a T. Now if you take this measured move from here, I think it was like from here to here, or I think it was a bit lower actually, but take from here to here. Yeah, it's a bit too low there, I didn't do it from the top there. But from right here, take it from the top at the break. Oops, what's happened here? Take it from the top at the break, all the way to the bottom. Then you drag this down. Takes you, okay, at the moment just below, but if we put it a bit higher, there we go. So just around our 9K level. And that is where there's a lot of confidence. A lot of people are talking about that 9K level. Personally, I believe 12K will be mainly the bottom, 12 to 13K. And obviously 16 and a half is what I've been saying since last year that um, that I know bankers who are obviously putting their, their buy limits at this level, 16 and a half. A lot of bankers I know are, are literally buying in at 16 and a half and things like this. So there's, there's a, a large institutional buy limit set at 16 and a half. And I do believe we could see a big rally off this 16 and a half K mark. Um, it is key support if I show you guys in the past. Okay, if I, if, okay I have to move this um, to the daily. Let's go. If we go back in time, you can see here, not the strongest, of course, not the strongest, but you can see here we had, let's go back a bit more. I try and drag this out a bit. Stay at 16.2. There we go. You can see here we have had multiple touches on this level and obviously a little bit of support there. Minor support, very, very small support right here before we had that big blast off. So 16.2 is a level to look at because we did pump through and find support on this level. So it does have some significant gain. Because as you can see, we found support on there and started the next rally upwards. So we know that if we do come to this level, we will find a potential temporary support there. So it's just one thing, a good thing to know, right? So if we do fall past this level, then you can start to understand that, okay, maybe we'll start to see even lower targets. But first, it's important to see and grasp the smaller time frames to understand where we could be going. So if you look at right now, I just want to draw a little trend-based fib. You guys know I love the trend-based fib from down here to our below here and right here. 
you can see here our one fib 100% retracement is taking us to 19.7 that is just above our previous all-time high so i do believe we can see that happen today if we do i, I want us to test the emas first and also go back to 20.2k support um which is obviously resistance now and then get rejected from there and then see if we can um, stay above our all-time high previous all-time high if we do fall past this level in there, the 1618, 18.9k, that is obviously a clear place where we could fall to. And obviously, if you look back as well within the wedge, you can see we have had a considerable amount of level here. We literally equal it up there, looks right here. Bang on line, you can see support, 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 and obviously resistance at the same time. And obviously found temporary support there and code on upwards. So there are likes of the likes of us being able to stay and hover above these levels. So that's for Bitcoin right now. The weekly isn't showing too much. I can show you guys a weekly if you if you really want to. Weekly time frame. Here we go. You can see that it's just like we had a bit of a doji when we were actually consolidating for that while. I did say to you guys that people were expecting that we had the bottom, and the bottoms usually take between three and twelve weeks, and that's a fact. So this is not a bottom. If you want to see a bottom, we want to see us come down, test these lows at 16, maybe wick even further below, hover around here for a little bit, and then see a nice curved movement upwards. That's a bottoming. That's a bottoming forming out. We're slowly, um, price is decelerating, volume is decelerating, and then eventually we start seeing momentum, strength come in, fear get exiting the market, and people start becoming more bullish overall when we start pumping the market, and obviously FOMO takes over as well. So that's what you want to see for a bottom. I want, to, I want to switch over to Litecoin now. I want to show you the DXY actually. There's something strange happened yesterday. So Bitcoin was falling and so was the DXY. And it was really, really odd. And then obviously as soon as I saw um, the DXY start to regain strength above its EMAs again. And look, we're about to have another cross now. It looks like we might be coming back up to challenge the previous um, temporary high at 105.6. I do want us to get to 106 and hold above there. Then we'll start seeing higher highs. And then obviously Bitcoin will come lower and lower and lower. And then we'll hit all our buy targets. We'll buy up. And then obviously dollar will start coming down. And then you know what's going to happen? We'll hit all time highs. And obviously we'll make loads of money. That's what we all want to do. But yeah, so that's the DXY. It's important you guys know that. Litecoin, on the other hand, you can see here we're bound to get across. And what I'm looking for right now before entering, my patrons know this, I'll tell them when I'm entering my trade. I'm waiting for a nice retest, hover above here, a big rejection, and I'll go short my stop loss right above the EMAs, targeting a nice 3 to 400% on my trade. That is how you do it. You get your nice tight stop loss, protected by a lot of confluences, and then you can just target it lower. So that doesn't allow it to be much more profitable. You can see there's not much going on for Litecoin apart from us being able to touch this potential lower part of the channel. If I um, go back in time, you can see this a lot. Oh, there you go. So the back, the bottom, if I can go, I can go a bit even farther. You see we have one touch there, one touch there, one touch there, and obviously another touch here. And I'm waiting for one last touch. And if we break past this one last touch, and obviously the next place we're going is 41. And as you can see, where I've told you guys to buy, I told you guys that 41 will get hit a long, long time ago, and you were all laughing at me. So look here, one, two, three, four. And if you guys bought at these levels, we, like I and, and the patrons, took over 30% gain. Now if we go from here, and that's with no leverage, that's just literally just doing our thing. See, it's 50% gain, but we I, I took profits at about 30, 25 to 30%. So, you know, like 50% gain doing absolutely nothing. And that's no leverage whatsoever. Like I said, just buying and hodling. So, you know, you can't you can't really disagree with my trend analysis, technical analysis, because it does work. Okay. So, yeah, this one I'm waiting for. And if you take the measured move from this from this point over here, down to here, and you put it on here, the measured break puts us at exactly $30. $30. So, you know, that is where we could ultimately be headed to. And if we go to that level, yeah. Big buying opportunity right there. Big one. I'll be buying there as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button for me if you guys do appreciate these videos. And I put the face cam on there as well to make it feel, feel more, I don't know, like better for you guys to actually see the face behind the videos. So yeah, smash that like button. 20 likes, Monero tomorrow as well. Double video tomorrow. And I'll see you guys next one. Actually, I'll see you guys in the Patreon. Join down below. Peace.